So what is the T3 framework and why are we using it? First off, the T3 framework was developed by the Joomla art team, a very, very popular Joomla template club back in the day. And they build awesome templates out there, but they're repeating a lot of their processes and it's wasting a lot of time in regards to designing and rebuilding all of their aspects of their templates over and over again. So they built a base foundry framework so they built a base foundry framework where they could reuse a lot of their code over and over again for all their different templates. Now, when we were evaluating all these frameworks, we were looking through all the ones out there in Joomla. And back in the Joomla 1.5 days, there were a whole heap of them. We looked at the T3 framework version 2, the Gantry framework, Warp, Helix, uh, and there were a whole bunch more. We analyzed and worked through a whole bunch of them here at PB Web Dev, and we had to work out which worked best for our processes and how we best designed our websites. And we narrowed it down to T3, and to over the years, the framework itself evolved and got better and better, and now it's even open source, so there's a community behind it that is supporting it, testing it, and developing the framework itself, which is absolutely fantastic and really, really appealing. So we've been using it now for a whole maybe four or five years now and it's now matured into what is known as T3 version 3 with all the bootstrap integration, uh, the less compiler built into it as well and so much more. So it's been really good learning all the ins and outs and adopting it so early on as well. So what did we actually want from the T3 framework or any framework that we're particularly using out there? We were installing all these extra plugins that uh, framework itself could actually do on the fly. We were using JS compression, so JavaScript compression, CSS compression, and also mega menus in a lot of our websites. But we were installing all these different things and finding all sorts of conflicts and we couldn't quite get it right. Uh, and that's why the biggest selling point for us was to use T3 because it had all of these things built into it, making it a lot easier for us to build templates with all of those particular features and deliver an optimized website in the end. So we'll be teaching you how to do all of this as well and how to best make use of T3. Now, the, one of the other really cool things in the T3 framework version 3 is now that it's integrated with Bootstrap. Not just Bootstrap 2, but also Bootstrap 3. So depending on your case and scenario and how you actually want to use the website and how you want it implemented, you can choose between which framework or which Bootstrap framework you want to use to, to deliver better solutions for your clients. So we'll take you through all of that so you can get a better understanding of it. And of course, we'll also take you through how to better maintain and update all of the T3 framework plugins, templates, and the framework itself as well. There's a little bit to it, but of course, it's uh, just a little bit of a practice and putting it into your processes so you know how to best optimize uh, those aspects of your website build. So that's the T3 framework in a nutshell and why we decided to use it. Uh, hopefully you guys will also take all of that on board and use it in your processes too.